Welcome to the Shanghai Channel. I'm Steve. In today's show, we'll look at five scenic places in China that have unusual scenery. This includes mountains over 17,000 feet high, turquoise blue lakes, unique waterfalls, vertical rock formations, and big hills that go up and down, kind of like the mountains that I drew as a kid, and a few unusual animals. Kaishirba means let's begin. Guizhou Province in Southwest China. Guizhou Province in Southwest China has many beautiful places, including the famous Huangboshu Waterfall on the western side of the province. However, my favorite place in Guizhou is a 12-kilometer or 8-mile long valley in the southeast part of the province called Xiao Qi Tong. It's not easy to get to, but that's what keeps the place free from crowds. Yulong Shuishan in Yunnan Province. To the west of Guizhou Province is Yunnan Province, and this is a place where the mountains get serious. About 15 kilometers north from the ancient town of Lijiang, Yulong Shuishan, or Dre Dragon Snow Mountain in English, includes a glacier that is the closest one from the equator. These are the uh, two people that helped me on the horseback ride today to uh, Yu Le Shoshang. And uh, the lady on my left, she has never been away from this mountain. A gondola can take you up high on the mountain. The highest peak is over 18,000 feet, or just four meters short of 6,000 meters. Zhang Jiajie in Hunan Province. This is a Zhang Jiajie in a western Hunan Province. In Hunan Province, Zhang Jiajie is the oldest national park in China. With 185 square miles, there is a lot of variety here. Much of the movie Avatar was filmed here. The most special and unique part about this park is the vertical 1,000 feet pillar-like formations that are seen throughout the park. This park is also known for its glass walkways and bridges. Zhou <laughs> Jai Go in Sichuan Province. And I'm at the entrance of a Zhou Jai Go, which is a very famous scenic area in uh, northern Sichuan province. Zhou Jai Go is another national park that is best known for its small, beautiful blue and green lakes that are connected by a variety of streams and an even larger variety of waterfalls. It also includes some unique wildlife and, if very lucky, a chance to see a giant panda. The area around Yangshuo in Guangxi province. The special thing about Yangshuo County are the karst peaks, which are small vertical mountains that are surrounded by flat rice fields and streams. This is one of the best places in China to just rent a bike or a motorbike and go out exploring. The scenery here is both very pretty and unique. 
The first few times I came here were at a time when Yangshuo village was a small village that attracted many tourists, including backpackers. However, in recent years, Yangshuo's population has exploded, and tourism has become more commercialized. While Yangshuo town is no longer the small village of 20 years ago, there are still many wonderful places to explore outside of the city. Honghu Lake in Hubei Province. Hubei Province is not known as a tourism destination, but I think it should be. Outside the giant city of Wuhan, this province has mountains and the largest and most amazing cave that I have ever explored. However, the spot that made my top six list of unique scenic places in China is Honghu Lake with its endless fields of lotus plants. very pretty, unique, and has very few visitors from other provinces. And foreign visitors to here are very rare, which led to several friendly locals asking to take a photo with me. Future videos will include a more detailed look at some of these places, as well as other interesting places in Shanghai, as well as around East Asia. Please give this video a like, and if you would like to see more videos like this one, please create a YouTube account and subscribe to this channel. Zaijian.